Hello friends, I am Deepika Shravastava, Assistant Professor, Department of B.Tech Computer Science from Biani Group of Colleges, Kalbar. I am here to deliver a lecture on overlays and swapping from the subject operating system. So let's start with let's start with overlays. What are overlays? Overlays are basically the process which is having which is larger in size than this memory space allocated to it. A process which is having larger space than the memory allocated to it. In that case, overlays are designed. The purpose of overlay works as only those data and instructions which are needed at current are loaded into the memory and rest are being, re being, rest being resting on the secondary memory. So, let's find out with this figure what is exactly done. During dynamic loading, overlays are formed of a single process like if a process is of 200 KB, we will categorize it as 200 KB uh, overlay 1 has 70 KB data, overlay 2 has 80 KB of data, symbol table will have 20 KB and common routines will have 30 KB of data. And we are having, we are left with memory of just 150 KB. And to run this program completely, this process completely, we need around 200 KB of data. Exactly? means if we add all these uh, data we should we will be in need of 200 kb but we are given just 150 kb now how to operate this process here the process goes we will we will divide two overlays overlay 1 and overlay 2 as the sizes are given 70 kb and 80 kb at a time only one overlay will be loaded into the main memory for execution as shown here this is the complete memory available to us. First of all, 20 KB symbol table is taking, 30 KB routines will take and overlay driver is designed so that it will swap when one overlay will finish and it's a chance for the second overlay to come and perform. So overlay driver is designed which takes 10 KB of space. Okay, process starts with uh, at first at pa in pass 1, uh, overlay 1 will take this position, it will get its work done. As soon as it finishes its work, it is being overwritten by overlay 2. As we know, operating system has very little to do with during uh, dynamic loading for overlays because it is just a work of file structures which could be handled by users too. Okay, I told you that in pass 1, Overlay 1 will com come and continue its execution. As soon as it finishes, it is overwritten by pass 2. There are two absolute images which is formed by memory, in mem which is formed in memory. Okay, this was o all about overlays. Uh, overlays, once again, we will see what is an overlay when a process is of bigger size than the memory space is allocated to it. In that case, overlays are used. Okay, now moving on to swapping. Swapping. Swapping is a concept when the da when the data which is available in secondary memory that is on our hard disk is to be moved is to be moved to the main memory and the data which is not ne currently needed not frequently needed in the main memory is being swapped out of main memory to the secondary memory. We'll come across these terms in swapping. Backing store. Backing store is same or secondary storage that is hard disk. And second is roll out, roll in. We'll see in this diagram. This is a backing storage that is our hard disk, and this is our main memory. As I told you, in the uh, upper portion of the memory, main memory operating system is being resident, and in the lower portion, user space where user programs are residing. In this case, now if we need a process which is in the uh, uh, secondary memory to be executed it needs to be swapped in, into the main memory and the process which is not now needed can be moved out can be swapped out back to the swapped out and it is swapped into the 
main memory which is needed is to be swept into the main memory and which is not needed it should be swept out to the secondary memory this is all about swapping and overlays thank you thank you and thank you so much for listening my lecture on overlays and swapping um if you want more information regarding my topic please visit our site www.gurukpo.com